is the first hit got paper, and it was called the it was called the computer god or the spa or the you know astronaut paper, and it was done on chromatography paper that was used for litmusing, and that's why it looks after all these years. This is from the sixties. All these years, it still looks what lily lily white. The chromatography paper was very hard to get, and uh, they used to be arranged in a little 5 by 20 setup where five of these would go in a row, and then uh, down 20, 20 times, so there would be 100 uh, doses on a little strip of paper, and each dose was a thousand lines, so they were considered four waves. Uh, the first uh, grams of LSD being divided into uh, 4,000 hits per gram. Uh, there's nothing in order here. Uh, so, we'll just keep moving. This is a close-up of the bladder sheet from the early 80s. And it's using a little uh, image that you will see later. And it's uh, from farm camp. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, this is a close-up of a cutaway diamond four-way from the late 80s, no, uh, late 70s. This is, uh, before the computer, uh, blotter was made by uh, photographic methods. And uh, this is the matrix used for the famous eye in the pyramid pit. And this was very, very large. It was about two by three feet when they silk screened the original. And then they photographed it, produced it, and uh, pasted it up in a larger form format, copied it, and reduced it again into 400 pyramids. This is how I feel about that. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't think it's um, about love. I think love, love exists outside of LSD. Um, this is a 400 um, block back still when uh, the grams were only 4,000 hits per gram, uh, the standard being set really by Albert himself in the first experiment, and then propagated by Owsley. Um, here's a current thing you can buy on eBay, and I thought it was a really neat statement that Marcel Duchamp would enjoy. Um, here's the blotter collector nowadays with uh, returning the stolen LSD to the people. <laughs> A current novel <coughs> featuring blotter and uh, the story of Albert Hoffman. Done by one of the part of Do you have there more of those going around? Um, I would ask John Hanna, he knows the fairy that made these. <laughs> Here's a book you can get on eBay if you really know your way around eBay. And it's about the uh, uh, group of people who originate in San Francisco and decide that they're going to turn on the world with their magic papers. Very interesting little novel. But I wanted to just show you the blotter starting to appear on book covers and in places where in the 70s it was impossible to find. Even in the 80s, very rarely do you see any portrayals of blotter anywhere because the DEA wasn't really aware of blotter paper for a very, very long time. And um, so now it's re emerging and uh, people are collecting it. <coughs> Putting it in other situations. 
situation. Here's a thousand hits of Jerry's hand that are featured in the book called Zigzag Zen. Uh, remained in uh, late 98 and busted on 20th and Valencia Street in San Francisco. Here's a Vanity Peace uh, featuring, uh, I call it Vanity Peace because it's water paper that isn't made uh, with the intention of dipping, dipping it and distributing LSD, but more as a way of asserting your stance on the LSD question and as a way of, um, of uh, turning it into an artistic statement rather than a commercial statement. And this one signed by Howard Marks, the famous uh, marijuana dealer. Uh, this is currently available also on e eBay, and it's a little outfit out of England that is trying to find classic blotters and then uh, re reinvent them. Uh, this one being the famous Mickey Fantasia that was originally dipped in Sando Dasset. Also available on eBay, uh, I'm man, uh, uh, let me see. Are you here? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> William Rafty. William Rafty sells these <laughs> on eBay. And uh, they're a takeoff of the Stars and Waves from the early 80s. And I thought, oh boy, this is incredible. Somebody's selling these and advertising these. When 20 years ago, you, this would get you certainly a sentence. Oh, this one seems to be moving, and it's probably is. <laughs> also, <laughs> also available at, at eBay, and it's part of the Vanity series, which has multiple uses. In black, if your sauce is black. <laughs> um, a, a recent uh, release from the Acid Test 40 in Las Vegas is now featuring rather a melting Uncle Sam. Um, this one just got busted, and what's very interesting about it is that the little beetle was sold as a com as a vanity blotter, and so then um, you know somebody's going and buying them off eBay and then dipping them. <laughs> so then they exist both as vanity, or they were created as vanity, but then some enterprising young person. You know. uh, here's something you'd never see in the old days: is someone put their name on a sheet of blotter. <laughs> this one being uh, you know, a fabulous effort to raise money for this and not your name. <laughs> uh, this one by artist Mark Mothersbaum from Ego fame. Uh, it's taking a stance and saying, yes, I believe in acid. Uh, the famous local artist, <laughs> Janker. And this is his second piece, and he's, he did another blotter sheet, uh, one of which Albert signed. But I guess he signed three of them, and if you can grab them, yeah. His first piece, Thousand Hits. Oh, uh, Stanley Mouse recent piece. And Stanley, for years, has been stolen and use that bladder, and then Stanley said, well, why don't I start doing it myself? This is his third issue. Uh, the great artist Jim Thurwell, whose band Scraping Feet is all the <coughs> evil, is featured. Also taking a stance saying, yes, acid's for me. Alex Gray, coming out of the closet. <laughs> His first blotter, uh, as a vanity piece, that is. Some kind of weird relationship going on here. <laughs> uh, one of my favorites, Mark Ryden from Southern California, with his portrayal of Satanic Majesty's request. The Kesey family who still survives. This one's by uh, Zane. He's a Japanese artist. Do you remember?
remember this one? It's Trevor Brown. Trevor Brown. The Trevor Brown doing a portrayal of Lauder, which uh, is, you know, maybe she's a little underage, but at least she's picking it. <laughs> uh, the Incredible Mind Stage Blotter by Stevie Pulsman. This one, signed and numbered by the, the great master himself. Nothing says I do like a piece of Albert Hoffman blotter hanging <laughs> over the bed. <laughs> um, an early, one of the earliest vanity blotters, and it was a, done by writer, cook, and entrepreneur Tom Lionel, who did six early blotters in the mid 90s and had uh, celebrities sign them, like uh, Laura Huxley. Tim Leary, even Allen Ginsberg signed some, the Shulgins, uh, many, many other uh, famous Illuminati. And um, I heard that John Beresford, our, our uh, pinnacle of fortitude, John Beresford is selling these, signed once by the Huxleys and others, and uh, he's giving the money for uh, the prisoners of LSD fund. Uh, he'll be here tomorrow with his blotter selling uh, if you like something. Like, you can't think of a better cause. Uh, this was in a CD in the early 90s, and uh, the, the, the musician uh, put it out without thinking there would be any problem, and then people started getting arrested coming home from Tower Records with their unopened little CDs and having to wait some time, one kid waiting in Texas for two weeks till they analyze the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forget his name. Richie Hawkins. Richie Hawkins. Uh, this is an early, uh, also an early vanity block. Sure. Uh, by uh, Hunter S. Knox uh, uh, celebrating uh, Tim, Timmy's return to the egg. Uh, Fred Tomaselli, famous uh, New York artist, uh, also a famous drug artist, who put uh, a curve sheet of blotter on one of his art catalogs in the late 80s. This is the first hit I ever saw on Blotter with an image. And, <laughs> and it was a four-way, printing both sides. Um, I scarfed the one I had, so I never found another real one, but I was in Texas doing a Blotter show, and I went to the record store on the Rocky Eric's and the picture album. Uh, there was one pasted up out there, and I remembered it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, here's the Matrix. I took that from Rocky's record. The real king of rock and roll, Rocky Erickson, the 13th floor elevator. Uh, behind the OK, you'll see. One of the first pieces of blotter portrayed in a uh, movie, and it was a movie called mm. Well, starring Alan Alva as a LSD chemist who's been hiding in New Mexico, and when the FBI comes to arrest him. He serves them an acid-laced dinner and gives away to Mexico. Mm -hmm. And as he's leaving, he opens his drawer, and of course, it's the Ronnie Reagan bladder in there. <laughs> <laughs> Flirting with disaster, thank you so much. I have a photographic memory, they just don't make film for it anymore. <laughs> This is the last piece of water <coughs> busted by the forces of evil on Earth. It was in St. Martin's, a little Dutch island, in 2005. May his suffering be shortened by this meeting. Uh,
real nice one coming out, uh, current one coming out of, I suspect, by the Perth by Amsterdam, featuring their traditional little homes done in a new way. Something I haven't been able to identify yet because my eyesight hasn't gotten in there yet. But this may not be LSD. Mascarina. Pardon? Mascarina. Yeah, yeah. Mascarina. Uh, but thank you so much. And so now there's uh, other drugs taking place in the water. A very recent effort out of uh, A boob. <laughs> also current. A couple of flies that I heard that these may not be LSD either. This was a one I got at Bonnaroo in 2004. By uh, the look of it, I think it's Archangel Gabriel because of the trumpet. That had no perf marks and um, it had a grid pattern on the back and cut along. 100 hits of Gabriel. Also, uh, from uh, the previous year, 100 hits of white Tara, also on curve, printed a uh, grid pattern printed on the back. A couple for his eyes. A thousand cherubs out of San Francisco in 1998. Is that a Botticelli? Is that a Botticelli? Anybody? Raphael? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, the back of a blotter piece. <laughs> I was showing what can happen to you if you don't take your acid. The front of that piece. Uh, <laughs> dancing condoms. Instead of the regular 900 format that is ascribed to a square like this, this was released in 1998, and uh, it was the first piece of water I've seen featuring the new 1,024 hit pattern. I guess they have extra 24 hits for the shop pattern. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the back of another piece of water, and the front of it, um, pink elephants from the Dumbo hallucination scene. Close up. Um, now, this is when you look up LSD FBI, that's what's featured on it right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the famous um, Albert Hoffman yeah. bike ride portrait, re released in the year 2000, first released in 1993. This is a close up. Math being uh, 25 hit squares. Here's a full sheet of this, uh, 500. <coughs> also from the same period out of uh, the East Coast USA, Mars attacks. Um, the back of a normal piece of blotter these days, instead of perfect since everyone's very aware of that uh, uh, Ed Francosa, the DEA agent in charge of blotter studies, who's been at it diligently since 1982, um, has associated all blotters by studying the machine tool marks left on the paper, disregarding the artwork entirely and numbering all perf, perf boards patterns that are captured. And so then they're starting to align um, perfect patterns. So a lot of people don't perf anymore, they just print a grid on the back, like the early days before they had figured out perfect. Uh, pirated Alex Gray with uh, the grid on the back. Another one. He's coming out of Canada in around 1997. Very unusual to see a out of the frozen view. Some kind of uh, missionary position. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
This water I thought was significant because you rarely want to trip on a president or a minister, but I think it's really the love conquer all is why this is. <laughs> Uh, here are the grids that move to the front of the piece of paper. Also the Canadian cartel. This actually came off a video game I figured out. Mar uh, not Mars Attacks, uh, the one with the insects. Stormtroopers. Starship. Star Troopers, also in the little hundred format here, rather than the large thousand black. Salvador Dali, heavily ripped off and enjoyed by everyone. Uh, here we move into uh, Europe. Really, really unusual to see uh, Europeans paying tribute to the California artist. This being a local artist, I believe, and also released around '94. Silver Surfer, they call her sometimes. These are 500 blocks. Uh, coming out of uh, Amsterdam in the early 90s, these blotters uh, can be, uh, were uh, busted and pizza cutter handled. Instead of a perfect board, these were laboriously cut by hand. Also, the re release of uh, Mickey's Fantasia. Re release of the Dutch Beavis and Butthead coming out about four years after the American. A very beautiful piece out of Amsterdam um, featuring Saturn, a recurring image in LSD. And this one being beautifully perfect and done in black light inks. So it glows whether it's loaded or not. Very interesting piece. First one I've ever seen that instead of trying to hide the black quality of the crystal being used to dip it in is celebrating the occurrence of what is known as black lightning acid, which comes in liquid form and is very, very dark in color. About a third cheaper than the other one, though. Uh, not, not just criminals make blotters, this one being done by Interpol and Scotland Yard in the early 90s to attract me. And they brought it over to my house and said, we got a lot of blood here, if you give us the crystal, we got a lot of money. <laughs> I said, if you got a lot of blotter, I'll give you bu five bucks a sheet, you'll make a lot of money. <laughs> A very rarely seen piece of a beautiful, beautiful man who's been able to uh, join us here tonight. Kevin, could you take a <coughs> uh, Kevin's a recently released prisoner. One more. Another one back on our side, guys. Uh, go easier this time, Kevin. <laughs> the full sheet. Uh, he even got the day right. What was up? <laughs> Six for nine. Well, you've got the only two. A thousand mushrooms. Another three thousand. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> A thousand hidden mushrooms, beautifully executed out of Amsterdam, mid 90s, I suppose. Uh, uh, the recurring image of stars uh, coming out of Europe. I guess we're moving backwards in time here, but hey, we're used to that. 
<laughs> the incredible tinted the close up, the full sheet. Ants or ohms, the close up. Full sheet. The back of a sheet of blotter, making it easier by the color patterns to break it up into 100 or 50 blocks in the dark, you know, near the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this being the front, and then it's an unusual thing, it's actually a fractal of South Africa, and it's when uh, Mandela won the presidency, and Tim signed this one. This is a, the other effort by the same outfit that same year, and it's called Human Hive, and it also had that same uh, pattern on the back. Uh, not a good idea to make fun of the FBI. Uh, this is called FBI Mandalas. <laughs> uh, my last bus, this was the first piece they took off the wall to analyze. A close-up of uh, Carlos Soul Slinger's incredible art piece uh, featured on a sheet of blotter known as Liquid Sky. Full sheet. Also done by the same <coughs> scallywags that did the FBI logo. Uh, this one being done on a very nice cotton paper. Uh, the red paper is not recommended, however, because it does leave residue in the pan, red residue in the pan. This is the, the original stat that the Soul Slinger sheet came from. I was able to acquire it, and they told me they, they photographed it off a uh, skateboard shop in New York City. A cut along from the early 90s, a, a little uh, regression and uh, paying homage to the Red Dragon hit from 1979. Moons, banana moons, in fact, on uh, black paper <laughs> concealed the darkness of the crystal. Full sheet. A condor flying over the Andes, the only bird they can. Manhattan. These all date from the early 90s. Uh, a thousand musical notes with skulls. Uh, this is a Tim Leary's funeral piece, and it says SMI squared LE, which was a theory he had about evolution. And then he is uh, returning home as the color that is the note that is Tim Leary, and rainbow bridging back right away. You can see a little death head on his shoulder. Um, Victor Vassarelli, early 90s. Uh, Heavenly Blue Planet, uh, done to raise money for Tim's funeral. Uh, Kevin's partner, when uh, Kevin got busted in London, Kevin's partner in America <laughs> re-released one of Kevin's old pieces by slapping a border on it. <laughs> and uh, put it out as 900 block instead of a 400 block. Is that right, Kevin? Perfectly so did you know about it? <laughs> yeah, now you know. It's better to know. <laughs> uh, Kevin's original piece. Um, this is the first piece of blotter Albert Hoffman ever signed. And through a series of finaglings, Tom Lytle uh, got Albert to sign, I think, 17 of them in uh, 1994. And then Albert sent them to Tim Leary, and Tim Leary signed them. And uh, they've been floating around ever since for big bucks. You know. uh, be, these being inspired, I believe, by something Kevin read about the bloodline <laughs> of Christ or some such thing. <laughs> Uh, the famous Usher heads printed both sides um, uh, in a, a 50 block, an unusual 50 pattern, but repeating the 5 by 20 
computer pattern established in the late 60s uh, a Jesus blotter, uh, the smaller format, 100 hits of Jesus. And the larger format, 900 hits of Jesus. The problem with these formats is that when you're trying to do a gram of acid to 10,000 hits and you only get 900 formats, you always end up with like a little extra square at the end. So then with this format, you can do 11 900s and one 100, and you're in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alice in Wonderland, um, escaping from Operation Looking Glass, an operation by the DEA that uh, it ended in my first arrest and first acquittal, and so then when I got out, I said I better do a bladder. First side, second side. No, first side, and here's the back. And I made her crawling through the little piece of paper that I've been getting away. <coughs> Miracle. Miracle. <laughs> um, but Felix the cat, when he is in a place, he opens his bag of tricks. <laughs> the first Beavis and Bud hit a 900 block, too. Um, the, the regular logo having changed to like acid rules I'm on a t-shirt instead of ACDC. Uh, Rolling Stones acid from the early 90s. The tribute to Nicky Sands acid to Born Sunshine from the early 90s. A picture of the great recently departed acid to Eric may live forever. The, um, the Dua Gills in that photo too. <laughs> An early go a year. Uh, and one of uh, Acid Eric's masterpieces, the Gorbachev. Uh, this piece is the piece, this is the Gorbachev that broke the wall out, not the other Gorbachev. 